Happy another Thursday morning. We get to talk to Dr. B, Dr. Brent Wallace, Chief Medical Officer of People's Health. Again, about senior health. Quick reminder, Medicare's annual enrollment period ends this Monday, coming up, December 7th. So for most people with Medicare, it's the last day you can change your coverage for next year. And the last year, Dr. B, you can sign up for People's Health, right? The last day, rather, you can sign up for People's Health. Yeah, that's right. So everybody should definitely go out there and do their research now. All right. Well, Americans are living longer, healthier lives than generations before. We're, we're able to be more physically and socially active as we age and keep doing the things we love and tackling some new adventures. But even healthy aging can come with changes to how you look, think, and feel. And Dr. B today is going to talk about staying healthy as we age and um some of the normal healthy signs of or the signs of healthy aging. So, Dr. Brent Wallace, good morning and welcome, as always. Well, what should we expect as we age? Well, Tommy, it's you know it's different for every person, and everybody goes through different changes. Um, you know, some of those changes can be physical. You know, some things like joint pain or hearing problems, but they can also be uh, mental changes, like some forgetfulness. Um, maybe slower reflexes. But, but if you make some small adjustments as you age, you can really minimize the impact that these have on you. You know, so, for example, if, you, you know, if your normal exercise routine that you do um, a couple of times a week just makes you more tired or it's harder to recover, um, then sometimes you just need a little bit more sleep. So, so people shouldn't get concerned about some of these changes. They're completely normal. Um, you just have to adjust to them. And the fact that you train as hard, that shouldn't be a deterrent. That just means that you're aging and you have to look at it a little bit differently. Yeah, so you really, you know, you just have to to adjust a little bit what you're doing so that you still feel good about what you're doing as well. And what about fear of aging? Because I know some people worry about memory loss or weakness, and that can be scary. Yeah, and and really people should not be afraid of aging. Um, you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there um, that can, can make you really worried or, you know, scared about what's going on. But, um, but aging is something that we all go through. And so you really just need to think about, you know, the things that you can do to maintain your health and, and, and keep yourself as healthy as possible as you do age. Um, you know, memory loss is one of the biggest ones that I think people worry about the most. And, and it does sometimes take a little bit longer to learn things as you get a little bit older. Um, but it really shouldn't be something that affects your, your daily life. Um, you know, another issue that people think about is getting weaker, you know, losing muscle mass. Um, but there's ways that you can protect your bones from fractures and, and, um, and really keep your body as, as healthy as possible. So, so people really can control what is happening to them as they age. Um, so that's why it's really important to be aware of everything that's going on with your body. One thing I know, I know somebody that's aging and, and they're concerned that because they feel as though technology is flying by so fast. Uh, you, I think people need to remember that that's, that's something separate and distinct, that it's hard for a lot of people to keep up with all the technological changes, right? Yeah, and really, you know, stop and, and take a moment to, to enjoy some of the changes that are happening because there's a lot of really good things that, that happen as we get a little bit older as well. And speaking of looking at the, the brighter side of it, it is possible, I presume, to feel happier as we all age? Yeah, definitely. In fact, a lot of studies have shown that, um, that seniors are actually happier than non-seniors. Um, so there's a lot of perks that can you know, come along with that extra age. Um, people tend to get more creative and be more optimistic as they get older. Um, your decision-making skills actually improve in most cases. Um, but it's really important to make sure that, you know, throughout your life that you're making healthy decisions because that can make a huge difference in, in how you do age. You know, one of the other big perks uh, as you get older for most people is they, they have a little bit more time so they can develop certain hobbies or, or, um, or go and, and have new experiences that can really help your brain as you get older. Um, you know, your, your brain actually, a, as you age, um, you actually develop a, a broader perspective um, that gives you better control of your emotions. Um, and so those new skills that you develop and, and you know, the, the years of experience that you have help you solve problems that you probably couldn't solve when you were younger. 
One um, one really interesting study is actually uh, in diabetes prevention programs. We have a lot of diabetes prevention programs that focus on the, the older adults, and um, they actually benefit more than the younger age groups um, because their brains are more adapt to making those adjustments and increasing exercise, eating healthier, and, and doing things that you really should do as, as you're aging. Hmm. Well, when do you decide? Maybe if it's if it you're watching your parents or if it's yourself, start. To, what, what at what point do you start talking to doctors about maybe concerns you might have about aging? What's normal as opposed to what's not? I mean, really, right away. You know, at any age, you can start having those discussions with your physician. You know, in particular, your primary care physician. Um, you know, you should always be talking to them about your medical history and and your health and how you're feeling, but also. Um, they'll ask you questions about the conditions of your family members, how your how your parents age um, really has a direct reflection on how you're probably going to age as as you get older. So that's why it's so important to make sure that you see your doctor frequently, have regular checkups so that they can identify any health issues that you have early. And they can also kind of help um, help you to set some goals for your health. Um, So, again, I I can't say this enough, and I know I say it all the time, but see your primary care physician. Make sure you're going to see your other doctors as well. Your dentist is very important, your your eye doctor, um, because most diseases can be prevented with early detection. All right, let's take a quick break. When we come back, let's talk about some of the normal signs of aging and and what we can do about them and, and also maybe some conditions that are incorrectly linked with aging. So Dr. B is our guest. We love having him. Dr. Brent Wallace, the Chief Medical Officer at People's Health, talking about senior health. Again, a quick reminder, Medicare's annual enrollment period ends this Monday, December 7th. So for most people with Medicare, it's the last day you can change your coverage for next year, and you can find out all about People's Health if you go to peopleshealth.com or call 855 821 2666. Time now for traffic on WWL. 24, Tommy Tucker, WWL, talking to Dr. Brent Wallace, Dr. B, Chief Medical Officer of People's Health, about senior health. And, and it's very informative if you are a senior or if you're the son or daughter of a senior or seniors. And we're talking about um, healthy aging today. So, Doc, when it comes to... Um, I guess some normal signs of aging and what can be done about them. What what are we talking about here? Yeah, there there are a few things that um, that everybody experiences and everyone goes through, and and these are the things you really shouldn't be scared about. I mean, a, a couple of those um, forgetfulness. I think a lot of people get concerned when they can't remember a word or a name right away, but that's that's perfectly normal as you get older because your brain cells age just like your body does. So a couple of things you can do around that. You can, um, you can actually try reading um, something creative like pl- uh, you know, playing games or painting. Um, new experiences or experiences that challenge you can really keep your mind active, and that helps to keep it sharp as well. So that variety is really important. You know, another area that, um, that people have trouble with is energy level. You know, it's very common as you get older for your energy level to change and decrease slightly. Um, you may have increased sleep needs. And, and, um, and again, that's normal. What you really have to do is adjust your pattern a little bit, make sure that you're getting enough sleep and taking care of yourself. Um, and really, that's where important, you know, it's very important to make sure you're eating the right foods, you're getting exercise, and, and um, you know, not uh, really overdoing it on sugary foods. Um, you know, some of the other areas I, I, I think about, um, minor aches and pains are very normal. Um, and are not a sign of anything bad going on in most cases. Your joints age, too, just like you do, um, so they lose that flexibility. And, um, and really what you can do with that is, is exercise. That will help your mind as well, um, but you know, something like riding a bike or swimming, low-impact exercises can be very helpful to, to help um, ease joint pain. And, um, and then along with the joints, sometimes weight can be an issue for people that are getting older. Um, we do have more difficulty losing weight as we get older. Uh, we lose muscle mass as we get older as well. Um, so what I tell people to do a lot is, is swap out your, your cardio training, so you're you know, running and swimming, and, and maybe do a little bit of strength training as well. 
um, because that can really help uh, build as much muscle mass as you can. And then along with that um, can come some decreased mobility and some balance issues, which is why as we get older, um, there's a higher incidence of falls. And um, again, that muscle mass loss is, is very common and the joint flexibility decreases as we get older. Um, so that's why it's so important to make sure that you, you try to maintain a healthy weight. Um, you really try to increase your exercise and stay as active as possible. You know, it's funny, my mother was about 86, I think, was suffering with arthritis, and she would show me what she would do to make her knee feel better. And this lady had never been to physical therapy a day in her life, and it's exactly what they tell me to do with the new knee, so I guess she was on to something. Some of the conditions uh, that are often incorrectly associated with aging, Doc, some of the things that we, we uh, chalk up, I guess, to, to just, well, I'm just getting older, yeah, there are definitely some things that people say, you know, oh, I'm getting older, so, you know, this is this is normal. And um but these a lot of times are things that aren't normal and you know, a few of those um chronic pain is is never normal. So it's it's common to have some minor aches and pains like I mentioned. Um but pain that's lasting for longer than a couple of months, um pain that you really can't get rid of, that needs to be addressed by a physician because there could be something else going on. Um, You know, another uh, issue that happens, people do start having some difficulty with their hearing or their vision, um, but loss of hearing, uh, ringing in your ears in particular, um, you know, pretty quick or severe vision changes, all of that needs to be checked out right away. And then um, something, you know, that that a lot of people do have difficulty with, but it's definitely not a normal process of aging, is, is losing your urine. Um, and we've talked about this before, you know, that can be due to a medical condition. Um, so you should talk to your primary care physician about that because a lot of times it can be corrected. Um, and then the other one is, is you know, it's, it's normal to have a decreased energy level, but it's not normal to be just fatigued where, you know, you, you can't get up and out of bed. Um, that's really a sign of, of something else going on, and, and that's a time when you need to speak to your doctor. You know, and, and along those lines, Tommy, the, um, you know, there's all these physical conditions that happen when you age, but you can also have changes in your mental health as well. And, um, and some of those can be normal, um, but the ones that I worry about is, is really personality changes. So in your parents, if you see, you know, really dramatic personality changes, that's something that needs to be addressed right away. And then something that we see too often is depression. Um, you know, depression is not normal. Uh, you know, sadness can be, especially if, you know, if you're losing loved ones and stuff. But um, depression really for an extended period of time needs to be addressed by your doctor. So that's something to, to keep an eye out for as well. Doctor, I appreciate your time. I think we help people every week with this, and, and I'm glad you come on, and I hope you have a, a great week. We'll talk to you again. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Tommy. Talk to you soon. All right. To uh, find out more about People's Health, of course, you can go to www.peoplesehealth.com. You can call 855-821-2666. And you can also follow People's Health on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And again, don't forget, Monday, December 7th, that's when the Medicare annual enrollment period ends. Right now, time for WWL First News. For that, we go to Dave Cohen. 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 